G'day ZikiD here with another video from the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls beta. The recent wipe brought with it a number of changes and uh, some of those changes actually were to classes which I wasn't expecting so that's pretty cool. The Demon Hunter especially had a few changes notably to the companion and in this video I want to show off these companion changes because they're pretty interesting. There's, uh, it's quite a big change to the way companions actually function not just like number changes or something like that. So as you can see here from the companion we have active and passive uh, skills and stats for it here. So basically when you now equip the companion, so let's just go ahead and equip something else, take it off our bar there. You'll see once we actually just go ahead and equip the base companion, it automatically summons itself. Now this is the passive ability of it basically. The passive ability of the basic raven is that it flies around and pecks enemies for 100% of your weapon damage, just a little bit of extra damage like that. Now, the, all of these pets now have, all these companions now have an additional active effect. So when I press the actual button instead of summoning the pet like before, now it actually activates and does its thing. So basically, now I'm going to go ahead and dismiss my Templar because he's annoying. <laughs> and uh, what we'll do is we'll activate the uh, Raven here and have it go and peck something. So it looks like here's a skull to Archer form. You can see that, you know, it does, what, 75 to 100k damage at the moment. If I go ahead and activate it this time, it'll one-shot it because it did uh, much more damage there. Now you can do that each each 30 seconds, so it does 1000% weapon damage, so 10 times its normal damage. Now we can jump in once that cooldown actually goes and take a look at some of the other pets, and they all have different active eff effects compared to uh, what they had before. And they, you know, they kind of theme strongly with what the base companion does, and are uh, looking pretty interesting. I think uh, these are going to have a much more interesting effect in builds now rather than just giving you a slight passive buff and kind of being sort of boring but usually pretty useful. Uh, now They now have a lot of potential to actually uh, synergize with your build well. So let's take a look at the spider first. We have uh, the passive effect of the spider is still normal, it still attacks uh, and deals uh, slowing effect to enemies that it actually attacks, that was always the case here. But now when you activate the spider companion, uh, it throws web around all enemies in 25 yards, slowing for an additional 20%, so 80% for 5 seconds instead. So I'll actually slow. I'll actually show this off, and because there's a big cooldown between them, I might have to uh, do a bit of jump cuts to uh, show off each of these skills without too much waiting. So let's go try and round up a few skeletons here. Maybe I need to like remove my weapon or something so that they don't, my pet doesn't deal too much damage to them. Okay, here's here's a bunch of skeletons here and uh, I'll go ahead and use the web ability and there you go! Throws web over everything with a massive slowing effect there. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Now I better equip my weapon again before I die. So I'll jump cut to when the cooldown's de uh, up and we can uh, take a look at some of the other pets. Okay, so next up we'll take a look at the uh, Bat Companion. Now the passive effect of the Bat Companion I'm pretty sure has been nerfed. So now it grants one hatred per second as its passive effect. In addition to, you know, flying around and dealing damage as it does normally. It's less damage than the uh, the Bat Companion, and uh, sorry, the Raven Companion, the Spider Companion, some of the other companions. But the main effect of the Bat has always been to generate that hatred. So now, because of that passive effect has been reduced, you know, we're not able to sustain hatred as much. However, when we activate the bat now, we now get an instant 50 hatred, which feels feels pretty powerful to me, but as you can see, I can activate there and I get a big big hatred boost there. So if you're fighting and you're running low on hatred, you can just, you know, every 30 seconds you get a big hatred boost there. So I, uh, I feel like that's pretty strong, especially if you're sort of a bursty build that needs a bit of extra hatred uh, every now and then to sort of keep sustaining your big burst. Uh, from hatred, you know, you get to the next pack, you're not fully regened yet. You can you can use that every 30 seconds or so. Seems pretty powerful. All right, so the next one is of course the boar. Now same sort of effects as before on the passives. It deals damage. It tanks for you. It's an actual sort of active companion that has a life pool, and uh, we can go ahead and activate that here. And does you know its normal increase to uh, regeneration and your resistance and things like that. The boar I feel is really powerful in Reaper of Souls, and uh, you know where where it's a bit trickier to get things like life regen and mitigation and stuff is really important important uh, to help make your regen more effective. I feel like the boar's a really nice buff. But now in addition to that, uh, the active effect is that the boar will charge from wherever it is to you and then taunt all enemies to attack it. So this really uh, really bu buffs its tanking potential for you because before it was always an extra target and enemies would sometimes attack it rather than attacking you. But now if you're in danger you can activate this ability and all enemies will go ahead and, and actually attack the boar. They'll be forced to attack the boar. So let's go ahead and show this off here. I'll get the boar sort of just fighting some of these enemies and it's all the way over there we'll get it to charge towards me you see it charges and then it taunts these enemies here you can see the little taunt effect above them I don't actually know why I didn't taunt more enemies than that I've tested it before and it taunts a bit more than that 
but uh, you saw the little taunt effect there. As you can see, it uh, taunts all enemies within 20 yards, so maybe they weren't near it when it taunted or something. I don't know, don't know really what happened there. And the next one, of course, is Gold Farmer's favorite, the Ferret Companion. This still does collect gold for you as per normal, and uh, increases the gold find that you get as well. So you got your cute little ferrets running around, that's always also pretty good. Um, now, as for its passive, uh, its active ability, I think is actually pretty interesting. It's a, it's a big change. I, th I thought maybe they'd do something to do with gold fine. Maybe when you use it, enemies drop some extra gold or something like that. But they've actually chosen to go with the route of instantly pick up all health growths within 60 yards. Now, 60 yards is massive. That's like the screen radius, I'm pretty sure. So, uh... If you, you know, you're synergizing this with one of the legendaries that drops extra health globes or something like that, this is basically a full heal for your character whenever you use this. So I think this is actually really powerful. Health globes are much more important in Reaper of Souls than they are in Diablo 3 Vanilla, and having an ability to pick up everything on screen every 30 seconds is basically an instant full heal. Now, this means you can also basically drop pick up radius from your character and just rely on this if you wanted to. I think there's some pretty interesting potential. The companion, the ferret companion was always sort of one you just ran if you didn't have anything else you really needed, you were just farming and wanted a bit of extra gold or something like that, or maybe you just liked it as a quality of life improvement. But uh, having this effect now actually makes it a serious contender as a defensive option, I think. I don't know if it'll be as good as the boar, because the boar has that 15% passive mitigation, but the active ability of for the ferret companion does seem really powerful. Now, I can't really show this off, because I have to go collect up a bunch of life globes and not pick them up to do this, but you guys, you get the you get the gist. It instantly consumes all health globes. As a little side uh, note now, when health globes are actually picked up by your character, they kind of jump over to you, so it kind of looks pretty cool when these ferrets do their thing. But uh, I'm sure you guys will see that sooner or later. So the next uh, companion, the final companion, of course, is the Wolf Companion, which has always been the big damage dealing one. It deals the most damage out of any of the companions passively, 150%, and I'm pretty sure it also kind of has a little AoE and it's sort of swipe there. But uh, the active ability for the Wolf is obviously synergizing, you know, kind of in theme with that extra damage dealing, and uh, now your wolf house and any yourself and any other allies within 60 yards, so if you're in a party, this is going to be very powerful, obviously, get 30% increased damage. 30% is massive, that's a huge damage buff, but uh, as you can see, we'll equip my normal stuff here, and I can just show this off. Uh, we do that there, and we obviously we get a big damage buff. You know, pretty, pretty basic, pretty basic, but basically every 30 seconds you now have a 10 second damage buff. So that means, you know, 10 out of every 30, so one third of the time, if you're, you know, constantly popping this. It's kind of like a Barbarian Shout or something that has a very short duration. You're, you're constantly able to pop this and get a big damage increase. So I feel like the Wolf Continuum has gotten a lot more interesting and powerful as well now. Overall, I'm quite a big fan of these changes, making the Companions a little bit more interesting and making the Demon Hunter a little bit more active. It's one extra thing you can do, kind of raising the skill cap a little bit, you've got something else to manage, you know, popping those every 30 seconds is something you want to try and get yourself in the habit of doing, and I think there's some interesting build potential there anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the look at the companions here, and I'll be sure to bring you guys plenty more Reaper of Souls content, and uh, there's a lot of new stuff to look at after the wipe. Anyway, that's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.